me from Crokey and we're here at the APNA conference in Brisbane ready for the last session and we're just doing a little quick box pop here with some of the delegates who have very kindly agreed to, to give their thoughts on their takeaways. First, uh, Bridget, could you tell me your full name and what, uh, where Hi, you're from? I'm Bridget Hipsley. I'm from South West Aboriginal Medical Service in Bunbury in West Australia. Welcome. Long Thank trip. You. Long trip. What's your takeaway from the conference? Um, very good. Um, lots to think about, lots to digest, lots to take home and, and tell others. Um, lots of things about websites where I prefer to have actually got the information here, but you know, that's modern technology for you. What do you, you mean by that? People well, look, at, look, at, look at the website mm. when I sort of came here to get the information. Mm. But, you know, that's modern technology. Anything that you'll change in your practice from being here? Oh, quite a lot, but I think I need to go home and think about it and see how it will, um, you know, impact on what we do at the moment. Good so, for you. Yep. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Travel well. Thank you. Now I'm going to Elizabeth, who is actually quite a special guest here because, Elizabeth, you celebrated very publicly um, yesterday, not not of not, your own not instigation. Not willingly. <laughs> um, your 50th anniversary of being a nurse. As a registered nurse. As a registered nurse. Congratulations. Thank you. Can you tell me your full name and where you're from? Elizabeth Blucher and I'm from Wagga Wagga in New South Wales and I work at KRS Health Medical Centre. And what's it been like being here with 50 years not under your belt? I don't think of the 50 years that much really. Um, I mean I still think I'm about 20 years younger than I am so I should only be about 30 years <laughs> in the workforce. Um, but it's, it's lovely. I love learning and so everything I've heard is is just reinforce. I suppose it's a lot of reinforcement for me, but I always pick up something new too. And I've just been to the most wonderful session on osteoporosis. Oh, and why? And what was good? Brilliant. It absolutely was brilliant. Probably one of the best presentations of the whole. Time. In what way? What did you learn? Um, the doctor that did it was so down to earth and so basic, but he he didn't just quote figures at us the entire time and statistics. It was literally how to go about setting up a program to pick out people in the practice with osteoporosis and how to educate them and then try and prevent further falls which causes the fractures which ultimately over the age of 70 leads to death in 92% people. And what was one tip that you wouldn't have thought of? One of the ones was to make sure we actually measure people's height every year. Um, we weigh them and he said he had a lot of trouble getting the other doctors in his practice to agree to measure everyone's height every year because if they were shrinking it was a fair indicator that they did have osteoporosis. Fantastic and how many more years do you think you've got in you working? I'd like to think I've got about another half four or five, but I don't know. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we'll see you at the 55th. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good, thank you. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Stephanie Lenko. I work for the East Melbourne PHN down in Victoria mm -hmm. in Melbourne. Hi. And what, what's your takeaway? Um, well, I've become inspired, um, new ideas, spend a lot of time talking to nurses, and I guess it just... Um, um, provides me with some information that I can go back and share with them and look at some of their practices and give them suggestions for how they can improve. Anything in so. particular that you take away? Um, yeah, what was my take away? The social media, the, the importance of the social media and using social media for business as opposed to personal, mm. um, the, the fact that that's not going to go away and practices need to think about it if they're going to um, get on board and be around for the next uh, the next 10 years or longer that social media is going to be there. I'll see you on Twitter. Bye Thank now. you very much. And finally, before we, everybody's rushing in, so <laughs> sorry to keep you late. What That's is right. your, your name? My name is Alison Bradney. And you're from? And I'm from Wagga Wagga. I'm at, I work at the same place as Elizabeth. Oh, great. KRS Health. And what's your takeaway? What's my takeaway? Well, I found it really quite inspirational and I think it's been uplifting as a nurse because sometimes as a nurse we don't always feel uplifted. Mm -hmm. So that's been really pleasant. Um, the other aspect for me in particular was um, um, I heard at the breakfast meeting this morning that um, BMI mm -hmm. under 25 is often malnutrition for those over 65. And so that was something I 
I hadn't heard anything about before. That so. was a great presentation, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so I was quite interested in that, so I thought, oh, I'm glad that we um, do their weights regularly and keep an eye on those things. So. Great, thank you very much. I'll see you at the final plenary.